And now, here we are, ready for the 20 gauge shootoffs in the mini world. These are the one, two, three, four, five, six shooters that made it through, and look who's finally coming onto the field. Who is that, Darcy? That would be Miss Rebecca McCumber. <laughs> That's correct. Oh, the great Rebecca McCumber. And uh, in that shootoff, here we go. They're, after one round of the shootoff earlier today, only these people made it through. It was very, very windy today. And so there were only, I believe there were only 1800s, and these seven shooters, one, two, three, six shooters, six, seven shooters made it through the first round. And now we'll start their second round of the shootoff in the shootoff stadium field for the 20 gauge mini world championship. Here we go, LP first. Do you know who that shooter is right there? That would be no. That would be no. Okay. I'm trying not to bite my nail right now. Very and nice. that's Nick Marsden from England. He he came over. He wants he wants something to show for him coming all the way over and shooting the world shoot. Rebecca McCumber. And we're off. And of course. I know this one. I yes, know here's your one. HOA champion, Mike Schmidt, who just won the overall to shoot off. And they move to station four. Still have one more shooter. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm missing someone. Oh, it's the left handed shooter. I believe he's a foreigner. He's yeah, from, he is. He's from, I believe, England, perhaps. I would say. Uh, that's what we're guessing, right, Dar? Yes, I am going to go. Just Jim, you have anything to add? Do you know these people? The, the, the last shooter in the, in, the, uh, in, the red? in the red? No, I don't know who he is. Okay, we're I'm getting. Sorry. Where Newcomer. Have... Oops, sorry about that. But we'll know him after the night. We may or we may not. Do we know who this gentleman is? I should know. I know him. Ooh. He's a quick, quick He's shooter. He's very quick. Quick, quick. That was the Bam Bam. That's right. Now, Nick Mars and Kate, is, of course, is Facebook queen and, and the NSSA website queen, and everybody loves Kate on the internet. Okay. And, uh, Rebecca doesn't crush the second one, but does hit it hard enough to continue to station five. That's all we're looking for. And so far, all of the contestants are perfect. Let's see. Katie with a precision sure. fit stop. We were guessing England, so maybe we're wrong. Well, Did he have an accent? <laughs> Ooh, it's getting a little difficult to see these things. <laughs> it is getting pretty a little dusky Isn't here it? at the shootoff stadium field. Let's get a panoramic view. But of course now the shootoffs this year being uh, uh, they're being run and and all of the. By Mr. Al Magyar, his wife Trish, Woody Anderson, Billy Ray Suggs, in charge of the shoot ups for the first time this year. A crack team. For the first year. A crack um, team. Oh, and there's Nick Marsden. Nick failed on station five and is exiting the station field. Yes. Good shooting, Nick. So, All right. I know this is exciting action, but we'll be back in a few minutes. Here we are later in the first round, and we've lost Rebecca McCumber, uh, unfortunately. Well, yeah. We're sad. We are. Now, Darcy, this last year from, I think he's from England. Robert, yeah. what's going on with him? Well, you see, he's wearing, uh, you see his face. He's wearing some shave sticks and powder on his face. For, for real? Yeah. I, I thought it was like a birth defect. <laughs> no, no. no, no, that's this was common way back uh, in the 60s and 70s. This was very common to, to wear the to wear the, uh, the dry shave on the cheek to to let the stock slide as long as cheek. Not not used very much anymore. George Lear, I think, as I was told recently, still uses it. I wonder where one finds that. 
Walgreens? Let me tell you, they became very hard to find, and that's why no one uses it anymore. It's kind of like Barbasol. You know, I took Barbasol. Soak my inflammation. Are y'all dating now? We are. We're moving your arm. Taping. You're shaking. What's that? What'd you say? Moving your arm. <laughs> You're making me laugh. <laughs> yes, we're having fun we as the are. as the unbelievably exciting shoot off keeps going on. <gasps> oh. did, I, did we mention they're selling frozen yogurt this year? Frozen yogurt. Let's take a look. This one was Jim's the large, right? And I had the small. He had vanilla. I had vanilla, that's, but I had M and M's on mine. <laughs> this is new. Mine was six dollars. Mine was four. I know, but, but their I normal large is five. I, I said <coughs> give me six. <laughs> of course you did. Did you tip your server? Not yet. I tipped my server. <laughs> oh, can I make an announcement on tape? It is official. And what is official, Dar? Staff Sergeant Andy Tablet will be assigned to Hawaii. The papers have been signed. Aloha. Aloha, Andrew. Yes, That's wonderful. we are very thrilled. In the dusk lighting here at the Shin Ken Plant, just see if we can capture oops, some of the targets as they go by. <laughs> and this has to be the last pair of the first round. Yay! Uh, Darcy, do you, do you think someone's going to miss here the last They always do, round? Robert. Really? I've, I have learned this from observing here, many here. shoot offs. They always do. Let's see, Darcy's. Back. Looks like LP is not the man that's going to do it. A miss, that is, as he completes his first round. Okay. Wow. Ooh, that was close. That was close, Kurt. See? You see? That was close. Are they squinting to see this? You no, we got it. You got it. I've only got one more shot here. That's right. Are you wishing him ill or not? <laughs> no, of course not. Never. Oh, and they all make it, and there's four left to go in the second round. We'll be back right after this. All right, back at the shoot-off stadium field. Just in time to see Matt Fallon attempt his bear on Station 5. Matt's from, originally from the UK and now living in New Zealand. A-class shooter right here. And he successfully breaks his pair, shooting against, of course, the superstar of the last few years in skeet, L.P. Jim Brown. The third. Probably, I'm standing here with Mr. Gene Stewart, my favorite videographer, and I would say, Gene, that, uh, you know, what, what do you think the Vegas odds would put on the favorite Mr. Giambrone? You think he'd probably make him the favorite here? The Vegas odds, I would say 70%. Yes, yeah, so I think. I think. Three to one. You know, you never know what's going to happen in shootoffs, but. LP, of course, is uh, won many times, and neither of these other gentlemen, I've, um, this is the farthest I've seen them go in any shoot-off. Uh, so the pressure is definitely on. Will we have a new world, a new mini world champion, or one that has won many, many world championships in the past? I'll tell you, just by watching these guys, so every one of these guys are in the middle of them, and they're they, wanting it. Well, how about happy. this A-class shooting in front of the crowd? shows no sign of nervousness or fear shooting against are one of the best shooters of all time of course at age 30 already one of the best shooters of all time lp gm brown the third all right here we are watching through the fence and the usual spot that todd bender sees when he's watching the shootouts in the stadium field that he's not in they aren't few there aren't very many of those but when he's not in them watching from this spot right here. So the pressure's on LP right here. Finish the box. So trying to shake off that crashing of the whole average today. Yeah. So so what's the, what's the score there on that? Uh, he has one week to go. And uh, what's he looking like against the overall highest overall average of the world uh, ever and it's held for many years, Todd. How's how's LP looking this week? I don't know if I can tell you break a 397 with an average like that, it drops like a brick. <laughs> 
And I can attest to that. <laughs> Did you have a 397 that year, Tom? Uh, I had a 386, and it dropped like a brick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So we'll watch this week and see yes, if LP, GM Brown can and handle the pressure of Bender's unbelievable whole high overall average of 99.80.72, of course, 99.72 high overall average. Uh, probably the second highest ever achieved is way, way below that. Yes. <laughs> and there we have it from the stadium field. And did he was were right. right. He was right. And there it is. Jones misses the pair and LP GM Brown wins another mini world championship. Uh, good shooting, guys.